I'm just here for the food. Good evening, my name is Robert and I try things. On Sundays I try whatever I feel like. Uh, often I spin the wheel of my backlog of free games through Steam. This week I really have wanted to try this Crop Isle TD. TD is short for Tower Defense and it's also got some deck building mechanics in there. Um, but it's, I think, secondary to the Tower Defense and all that. So it looks cute, it looks fun. It's a semi-novel 
approach to the tower defense game, so I want to try that. But happy Sunday, happy summer, happy second full, third, third full day of summer. Um, what was I going to say? It's hot. It's finally hot. I actually did not spend hardly any time outside today, but it is 91 currently. I'll probably try to spend some time outside before I go to bed, but um, in fact, I may kind of cut stream short because I want to spend some time outside. Um, what was I trying to say? So it's hot, but that also means, you know, the bugs are out. It's itchy season. And that is my one single lonely only complaint about summer is that everything itches. Uh, I cannot count the number of chigger and mosquito bites I have all over my body. Got them on my torso, on my legs and ankles. Got one right here in the crease of my elbow. Well, on the edge of the crease of my elbow. Um, it's, it's not fun. And I've been looking for a way to get rid of chiggers permanently or semi-permanently or, you know, for the, you know, remainder of this season at least. And it's... It's not going well. We also seem to maybe have uh, some poison ivy, excuse me, somewhere in the yard. I don't know where exactly. I've never actually been able to identify poison ivy. I've never seen it when I've encountered it. I've had it three or four times, but I only ever see it like the next day. So I, I only see the rash and the itch and the pustules on the next day. So I never see when I've actually interacted with the plant. So I couldn't tell you um, I couldn't point out that is, uh, what's it called? Poison Ivy. Now, I, every picture I look up for trying to identify Poison Ivy looks different from every other picture I've seen of trying to identify Poison Ivy. There's like eight or ten different ways that Poison Ivy can present itself. There's the glossy leaves. There's the not quite so glossy leaves. There's the red ones. There's the droopy ones. There's the ragged ones. There's the spiky ones. There's the ones with thumbs. There's... <sighs> so yeah, each individual plant apparently uh, does not identify with the rest of all of the other plants. So, you know, good luck figuring out what is Poison Ivy and what isn't. Um, so even if I were able to see it, even if it were, you know, out there, I wouldn't be able to tell you that that was it. Um, I have an itch on my back that I don't think is bug bite related, but you know, never know this time of year. Okay, I'm tired of talking about itching. Um, what was I going to say? So I spent all day today working on setting up a new mod list for Fallout 4, and I got done with it, and I started playing the game, and I am I not interested in actually playing the game anymore? <laughs> I spent $9 on a Nexus Premium membership so I could download collections faster. And uh, it's, I kind of, I don't know. I want to do all these uh, companion, new companions and uh, quest mods, but I don't want to go through the rest of the game. I could theoretically download a save file. Um, that could happen and then just go to an appearance changer and select one of my uh, looks menu presets. That could happen. I'm trying to clean my controller, by the way. That's what I'm fidgeting with off camera here. Um, maybe, but that's something I'll have to deal with later. Um, in other news, in other really big news, I got the Cat Cafe. I got the job. Uh, I've had a verbal offer, and then she has sent over a written offer for uh, the work prior to um, the cafe actually opening. So she wants me to help set up systems and um, what's it called? Processes and inventory and probably help with uh, what's it called? payroll and things like that because her brain is fried so we'll work on that uh this week i have not actually looked at the offer and at the paperwork yet because i uh, want to start i want to begin this whole process by committing to i'm only going to work when i'm supposed to work and weekends right now are not when i am supposed to work so i want to have that boundary that sharp this is what i do and what i don't do 
Um, so I will look at those uh, probably first thing in the morning or maybe later this evening after I finish streaming because I want to get started actually working as soon as I can. Um, so I'm excited. I got the job. Uh, I meant to call my grandma today and tell her that. I tried to call her last night, but I don't know what she was up to. Probably playing cards with her sisters. Um, or, no, she wouldn't be driving her sisters back to where they live. They would have gotten themselves to Mississippi. Uh, it's sister week for my grandma and her sisters. She has three of them. Uh, two, two? No, I think they're all three um, able to travel. So they... Um, rotate where they go which sister's house they visit each year and my grandma's the youngest and she's hosting this year and then one lives in arkansas i can't remember where the other two live but actually you know what it may be that they just alternate arkansas or mississippi uh for where they're going to hang out but yeah they spend a week together each summer uh around or you know late spring early summer and um i'm glad they get to do that so I imagine she was doing something with her sisters last night, and that's why I wasn't able to reach her. So yeah, I got the job and I'm excited. And we'll see how that goes. Uh, for now, I want to try these mulberries. Organic, soft, dried, white mulberries. What? Did that fall out of my pocket? No, it didn't. Okay. Got these at TJ Maxx. They are Amphora brand. I don't know if that means anything. An Amphora is a Greek vessel. Um, but yeah, they're $4 at um, TJ Maxx at the checkout. So it was definitely an impulse buy. So were the Tahin uh, pineapple rings. Let's try the mulberries. Now, they smell like any kind of dried berry ever. Um, they smell a lot like raisins or dried cranberries, whatever. This is what they look like. So that's like a cluster of multiple berries. But um, so it's a white mulberry and they are actually kind of um, a, a cluster of berries in and of themselves. Each one is an a, a individual little uh, orb if you want to call it that. Yeah, that smells a whole bunch like a raisin. I've had fresh mulberries straight off the tree before, so this shouldn't be too different. Uh, and they're dried just to where they're soft, so they probably took out a 30% of the um, water content in these. So we'll see. It does have a little stem. I'm going to not eat the stem. These are a little less uh, gamey, woodsy, earthy than the ones I've had off of trees before. Uh, they still taste like a mul mulberry, but part of what I've come to identify as the taste of a mulberry is that earthiness. The texture is uh, very similar to a raisin uh, or maybe like a dried blueberry. Not really much to recommend them they're not bad but they're not great either i don't know that they're worth well they're probably worth 80 calories for a quarter cup but i don't like them enough to continue eating them really i'll eat what's in my hand but hmm okay i guess that was kind of a waste didn't really care for that very much hmm Okay then. Since there is nobody here and I did just try the snack, I'm just gonna go ahead and play this game. Make sure my category is correct. Okay, there is no poster for it. Okay. Grab a controller and kick back. Okay. Controller is connected. I like that the pop-up was there directly in Steam. Othello games. 
They misspelled Buffalo on purpose. Okay. So, bumpers to switch cards, Y for next stage, B to cancel, A to confirm, X for scooter, left stick to move, right stick to switch perspective, up and down on the D-pad to scale time. The idea is draw cards, expand island, boss battle. After entering the game, the progress bar at the top of the screen will give you a clear indication of which battle phase you're currently in. Bosses will come every three days. Defeating the boss grants you an opportunity to expand your island. More land not only allows for greater strategic layouts and defense plans, but it also makes the enemy's attack path more convoluted. During the island expansion process, you'll encounter desert islands where a girl has missed her evacuation boat because she was oversleep. Because she was oversleep. Okay. Not written by native English speakers. Because she overslept. Connect to the island. Connecting to the island allows you to rescue her. As a thank you, she will... The game crashed. I wasn't even done reading the instructions. I hadn't even done anything yet. Give it another try. Because it does look fun. Alright, Buffalo Games. Okay. I said thank you, she will gift you with her crops and defense towers. Worried about the next wave of attacks? No worries. During the prep phase, you can opt to head to the boat for an early evacuation. Not only do, does this safeguard your current gains, but it also automatically converts them into diamonds, which you can use to upgrade or unlock more powerful weapons, boosting your... We got another crash. I don't know what the problem is. I think I saw something about Unreal... Uh, if you're defeated, your gains will be slightly reduced. As for these pesky critters, they'll only attack from open entrances. Successfully seal all the pathways and you'll achieve island security, winning you a hefty bonus. Interacting with the land plot allows you to change its state. Wasteland to soil to farmland. And it crashed again. Okay, I wonder, I wonder if I let it sit at the menu, if it will crash just sitting at the menu, not even opening the manual. trial version it says at the bottom right what's it mean by upgrade oh upgrade your towers okay let's just let it sit see whether the manual was the problem or if it's just the game period do 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 Uh, if not interacted for a while, it will gradually revert back to a wasteland. Soil plots can be used to build defense towers and auxiliary items. Farmland can be used to plant various crops. Okay. Crops require sprinklers to grow. Harvesting them at the end of a battle will grant you significant rewards. Different crops and stones will provide damage effect bonuses to surrounding defense towers. That's cool. Okay, so it hasn't crashed yet this time. Default mode. Monster waves by type fixed starting island, moderate difficulty versus random type monsters, random starting island, and hard difficulty. Nope, I want default. If there were an easier option, I would. Move it, cursor. Okay, rest state. Press and hold Y to finish rest, aka the pause between. Okay, so they're going to come from this way. So, and they're trying to get here. These are already... approaching.
Which card pack do I want? Chances of a turret. Yeah, give me that one. Cool, I got three water cannons. Expand your island, gain more land space. Okay, so that's has to be there. And there's kind of a market there. And I can't put this. Okay, so it has to go here. What is that sound? Wooden chest, roll the dice. Total points less than six, win a random card. Total points greater than six, receive gold coins equal to 10 times the points. Total points equals exactly six, get both a random card and 60 gold coins. If both dice have the same number, double the rewards. Okay. Okay, six even. So I got coins and crops. Okay. Carrot fields do what? Will provide critical hit bonuses to the surrounding turrets. So any surrounding turrets, okay. Die again. Okay. So what is this? A shop? No, she was okay, she was the stranded one. So these are Okay, so there's so I picked up some crops. So they're gonna come from these three directions. Okay, hold on. Break this rock thing. Uh, so the rounding tiles hit bonuses. Okay, so I don't have any sprinklers though. Can I dig this up with the tree on it? I can't. Okay. Rocks boost nearby turret damage. Is that real? Oh, that doesn't count as a rock. Does it? Or wait, okay, this one is telling me there's a rock nearby. Okay. So... So this one gets nearby turret damage boost because of two rocks. Ooh, nice. Okay. Okay, so I've got two more water cannons. I'm going to place another one there, and here, and I will go ahead and place the carrot there, but it doesn't have any water though, just realized. So, oh, that's a sniper rifle, that's fine. anything to the critters. and some carrots and a wind turbine. Once constructed, it will provide certain power each round to restore the shield value of the farm. Okay. Hold X to continue. Right, I 
playing this game. Alright. Up more. So do I want an almost guaranteed crop, an almost guaranteed turret, or an almost guaranteed cur turret? I don't want an item. Okay. Three water cannons. So the cards, do I do they cost anything to place? What is the money for? Is it for upgrading at the end of rounds? sprinklers. I don't know how to get sprinklers. Oh, crap. And his name is John C. You got me, Rubinsky. What kind of snacks are you getting? Oh, Aaron Knight, not Rubinsky. What did I get? Oh, jeez. Oh, man. This is not good. Oh, okay, the flamethrower is helping. Doritos. Kind of the best chips. Okay. Uh, yeah, give me this one. I need items. I need another wind turbine. Okay. Alright, so I've got this. So it has to go here or here. How's your Sunday going, Air at Night? By the way, guys, I got the Cat Cafe job. Wait, what are these buttons? Oh, the gates. Okay. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, for the next couple of weeks. So it doesn't open until the middle of next month. And for the next couple of weeks, I'm going to be helping to set up uh, processes and whatnot for um, your okay, your have and have about starting work tomorrow. That's completely natural and understandable. I can definitely get why. Kind of actually apprehensive about starting what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, too. Actually, no, I don't want to put this turbine here. I want to put it over here. Um, but at least you have the job. The job is good. Okay, so I don't have to... Can I go through the rocks? Okay, the rocks are the only thing that I can't drive through. Gotcha. Okay. I hope you enjoyed your eight-month-long or ten-month-long vacation. That's a joke. No, it wasn't a vacation. I know you didn't enjoy it. Not all of it, anyway. Okay, so I can't do anything to them at all. Ah, uh, flamethrower, you're my only hope. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. There we go. Just the not having a paycheck thing kind of sour. Oh, you really like not having to work. The not having a paycheck thing kind of soured it. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely would do that. I don't need a turret, damn it. I need... Well, okay, I guess I kind of need turrets. Treasure Sucker. Modified from a horn, its powerful suction can replace players in collecting any resources around. It is suitable for placement near roads or fields. Okay. What are you, like, making all this digging noise about? Is it just coins? I'm just standing there. I'm not collecting any coins. Okay. So this Treasure Sucker... Okay. 
Okay, and then so we got a rock there. There, there we go. Oh, I can upgrade the towers from here. Oh, okay. And it costs 34 coins, and I have how many? 809? Okay. Okay. There we go. That makes way more sense now. See, it didn't explain anything about upgrading. Okay. This should help me sleep easier at night. That's helpful too. Turbine. And so many more carrots. If only I had sprinklers. Flamethrower, you're my only hope. Man, I've had a dollar for every time I thought that. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with all the crazy games you play. next to the rocks I want to upgrade the most. Alright, let's do this. I really should put stuff right here, huh? Yeah, because there's rocks. Well, okay, the next turrets I get are going to go right there. Games like uh, Helldivers and Warframe and whatnot, flamethrowers are, you know, something that would be nice to you. Can I change their targeting behavior? I can do that in a lot of tower defense games. I guess not. Where is it showing me the time? Okay, there's the time scale. It's along the top. It doesn't explain the UI super well either. The joke you were going for was that I was meaning you were, you were relying on flamethrowers in real life, but context is difficult to over chat. I mean, I get that. I was just trying to make an additional joke about games, I guess. Cool, another treasure sucker. And two more water cannons. And, man, I don't like this. This is introducing two more directions that they're going to come from, but I'm forced to build this. Fine. Seven. 
and three. Chili! Can only grow in moist soil. Right, an attack burning effect to what now? To the surrounding structures. Okay. Well, these are pretty ideal places to place turrets. Except they don't have any rocks adjacent, but I can deal with that. Oh, I don't have a turret to put there. Alright, we'll put a treasure sucker there. Oh. Well, actually... Probably good to put it somewhere that doesn't have a bunch of rocks around it. Alright, here we go. Another treasure sucker. Oh, I just realized the placement of that has a circle. Okay. card pack. Why don't I have any sprinklers? I have not gotten a single sprinkler the entire time I've been playing this. Wait, what was that message? Oh, was that about a full hand? Okay. I may die. Oh, wait a minute. Is that saying my shield is at zero now? And my health is at 36 of 60? 
Oh no! Okay, I lost. <sighs> okay. Alright, so I've got 354 gems to spend on upgrading my towers or unlocking towers. How the heck do I get sprinklers? What does a honeycomb do? What does the honeycomb do? It doesn't explain it. And I just spent 50 things to unlock it, so it would be nice to know ahead of time what it does. Place it by the side of the road, and the little bees will sting any animals daring to enter their range. Okay. Corn minigun seems... Uh, what's the word? Self-explanatory. Same with flamethrower. Tesla is going to shock. Tomato cannon is maybe going to slow, but poison. Poison sounds fun. Oh, but I don't have enough to... Dang it. I would have if I hadn't unlocked the honeycomb. Dang it. Okay. Um... All right, let's upgrade. And then now I can go one of two directions here. More damage or more range. Damage is where it's at. And I have to go through these to get to the times three damage. Okay. Uh, faster firing is going to be a good thing. Okay. Now I'm done. What do you mean new? What's new? I don't have anything new there. Okay, so each time starts over. No, uh, what's the word? Music for the menu. Slightly unfun. So the turret has 18 damage. Okay. I don't know what some of those icons mean at the top. So there's... Okay, so, oh, so it's telling me when I get these card packs, that is actually the shape of whatever it is that, uh, the land that I'm going to be picking up. So if I get this one, does that mean I don't have to place the land? No, yes. I can't place this. This doesn't work. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know all this was out here. I can't place this. I, I don't think this is supposed to be possible. It should force me to have cards that I can place. Okay, so this is officially a little bit broken. This had such good promise, but it's so not great. This has potential, but it has problems, too. I'm going to try one more time. Okay. All right, let's place the flamethrower here and the cannon here and we'll go ahead and go 
Okay, that was that level. So now, if I were to select this pack, what I just found out is that I'm gonna get stuck because there's nowhere for this to connect to the existing island. So that is a problem in this game. So I have to choose one of these two. If I choose this one, that's gonna be adding three directions from which enemies can come. So I really don't wanna do that. Also, it's mostly crops and I still have no idea how to get sprinklers. I've never gotten a sprinkler. So we're gonna to have to do this first one, which is gonna give me 61% chance of having a turret. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you have to go here. Okay, the controls are a little snappy. What's in the, oh yeah, what's the dice? What did the dice say? 10, I got 100 coins, okay. I have this nice corner spot that I can't place anything at because there's a rock there. Let's place that one there. And then there's the girl that's stranded, and I get all her items. Okay, so now we have two directions for enemies to come from. Okay. What is this? This is the bees. What does the tomato cannon do? Okay, let's see what the tomato cannon can do. So I get coins for clearing land, so I'm just going to do that while the uh, level progresses. Nope, I didn't mean to turn that into farmland. land. Okay, that was the end of the level. Turrets. Okay, yes, so I unlocked the honeycombs. That's a lot of rocks. That would be a good place to put a water cannon. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Alright, so that corner there, both of these corners, are going to be great places to put water cannons. Okay, so there's the range on the bees. So we'll put another one, like, here. Or, no, here. And then another one here. Okay. Clearing more land while the level goes. Get more coins. Okay, so the green number in the top left is the shield, and the red one is the actual resource health. Sprinklers! Sheesh, finally. Okay. Uh, unused cards will be converted to coins. Be converted. So we got some typos. We got some English going on um, and some gameplay issues. But other than that, it's, you know, fun. I'm enjoying this, honestly. Oh, you can only have so many things. Okay. So carrots do what now? Provide critical hit bonuses to the surrounding turrets, meaning... Can I dig this? No. Can I place the carrot? No, I can't. Uh, so, 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 so. Where do I have... Okay, I want this. Roll the die. Okay, got 100 coins. Uh... All right, so let's place the carrots here. And what's the range on the sprinkler here? Okay. Okay, and then we'll place 
place another turret here. There we go. So you are getting a 20% crit chance from two carrots, and then you're getting a plus two damage from rocks. Cool. All right. past that first corner hardly. Okay, so I have to either add something with a vertical entrance or something with a left side entrance. So it has to be this one. It should not even be offering me either of those two left or right. Oh, no, 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 okay, no. It could out offer me those two. Okay, so there's a... I'll take this one because I would really like to loop it around and secure the island. So we're going to see whether we can loop it around and get that secured up. What is this? Gold. Okay. All right, uh... Oh, give me the chest. Got a tomato cannon. Fires ripe tomatoes, causing crush damage while rolling. Explodes... Okay. Uh, explodes on hitting stones or player, causing additional nearby damage. Okay, so I can place this along a straightaway. Can I replace existing turrets? No. Okay, so... Doo -doo -doo. I don't have a good place to put this as it stands. I wish I could replace turrets. Okay, one gold mine produces one gold brick, probably per day, per night. I don't know what that does. Probably just gives me more money. Okay, I gotta figure out where I want to put this tomato cannon. I guess here would be the best place. Because it's gonna fire this way. Okay. And then... So this only counts as two rocks. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and place it there, I guess. Yes, I need turbines. And I'll put a treasure sucker. Yeah, there's good. All right, let's do this. Moidalize them. Ta da! Cool. Okay. Let's do this one. Water cannon, honeycomb, carrot. If I place a carrot here, is it going to help those two turrets here? Okay, so you've got plus two from rocks. You've got plus two from rocks. Oh, oh, the crit chance. Okay, so that is, okay. So it has to be in one of the eight immediately adjacent squares. So if I do this one, 
plant the carrot there. This one's gonna get... What? Why isn't it getting a third? Did the sprinkler not hit it yet? Or does it only apply at night? Let's see. Or the next day? The upgrades are really, really necessary. Uh, I need another sprinkler, honestly. Okay, destruction. Used for dismantling turrets. That would have been nice when I got that tomato cannon. Honestly. But fine, we'll place another... Uh, Water cannon somewhere. This sprinkler is totally hitting this carrot, so. Wait. Okay, so there's one carrot near the. Oh, so they. Okay, so they're only there for a few days. That's good to know. See, it's not explaining any of these mechanics. All right, let's go. to get is this left side pack and if I tried to select either of the other two I wouldn't be able to place it I'd be screwed okay sprinkler okay yes has to go there well it could go on the one below but this way I'm closer to sealing off the island and uh, not having to fight anymore basically Okay. Oh. Mm. Chili. Attack burning effect to the surrounding turrets. Okay. So if I place the honeycomb there turret there and dig this up. Oh. I don't still have a carrot. Okay. Sprinkler here. Excuse me. There we go. Alright, let's do this. and water turret there are burning everything. Did I win? Zero damage! Hey. We're gonna place a wind turbine back here. Treasure sucker. Hmm. Probably. Here looks good. And I will plant a carrot here. And we'll do this other water cannon here. Let's 
So, the water cannon always costs 26 to upgrade? No, okay. Once you get past level 6, it costs 31 and 36, okay. Okay. Got a sprinkler again and a carrot. Yeah, but we'll just put the carrot here. Another water cannon there. That. Okay. I can't really do anything else. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh, 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 no, I lost! I got overconfident and turned up the speed too fast and lost. Okay. So, how many diamonds did I get? So you never really win. You just do a little better each time, unless you can loop it back around. Okay, so I got 600, whatever number of gems, and that was added to whatever I had. Okay. So we'll do that, and then do I have to do both of these? Okay. Base armor. Okay, so I don't have enough things to upgrade that. Although, hold on. What is it telling me? What is this arrow to the right here? Okay. Oh. Increase kill rewards. Rocks boost value. Start health. Hmm. Well, this would have been nice to know. And there's not a way with the controller to switch over to that. So there's another con. Okay, I'm definitely writing a review about this. Okay, so I need to... Give me notepad. So, ability to pick a land expansion cards that lock gameplay because they don't connect to and opening very little is explained about the way towers and props and various other mechanics uh, work. Uh, and then what was this one? Not able to access what are they even called? Permanent upgrades. Permanent upgrade section using a controller. No main menu. Music. No music outside uh, of levels. There was something else. That's all I can really think of at the moment. Okay. So I'm going to save up for kind of all of these. Okay. We'll do this one more time. This has been, even with the troubles, it's been entertaining, really. Okay. The turrets are going to go next to the rocks so that they can get powered up and okay and that's all my money so here we go if i die on the very first level that is the game's fault not mine okay so i cannot pick this one and i cannot pick this one i have to pick this one
so what do we get? Four. Got a turret. Okay. Yeah, I kind of don't care which direction they're going to go. Although I guess this way would be better. Okay, let's place a turret here. And... Nope, here and here. Where's my gold? Oh, I have one gold. Okay. Oh. I can't actually access that because I don't have a path that goes to it. Okay, do I want... Almost certain crop, almost certain turret, or almost certain crop again. Um, turret. Okay. Sprinkler or something. Okay, a treasure sucker. Whatever. And what can I destroy? Just turrets, right? I can't destroy rocks. Okay. And I have no reason to destroy any turrets. Okay. Okay, so any of these will work. So do I want... So the one on the left... The one in the center is going to add three more directions for enemies to come from. The one on the left and right is only gonna add two, or one more direction each. Sorry, the one in the center will add two more directions for enemies to come from, and the ones on the left and right will add one more direction for enemies to come from. So, and the one on the left has more coverage, and I'm almost guaranteed to get a turret. So I'll do the one on the left. And yeah, we'll place that there. Okay. Ooh. Double sixes. Five. Oh, got a carrot. What does battery? Increases shield cap by 30. Nice. Okay. Now, the better place to put... The turret, no, stop. It's gonna be here. And we'll put a honeycomb here and one here. And we're gonna upgrade half out of this. And we'll see. anything, so we'll just go. Oh boy. Okay. 
Green honeycombs. select well okay no I can I can select the left one and the right one but not the center one because the center one doesn't connect to either of my entrances if I pick the left one I have another direction from which enemies can come if I pick the right one it's only adding one more direction from which enemies can come no it's not it's adding two if I do the left one it's adding three so this is my best bet unfortunately can't attach it here. Okay. All right. What does our rock situation look like? There is no reason for a rock to be here. That just blocks things. I would plant carrots if I had any sprinklers. Turbine to place.
kind of forgot that this was not my last set of uh, turrets. Okay. Let's add this one. Over here. Okay. So now we've got still the same number of entrances. And sprinklers, carrot. Oh, okay. give me the chance. Here you've got yeah three rocks adjacent to you, and then we're gonna put this carrot here, and then finally have a sprinkler. There we go. All right, let's do this. I'm better off saving up and upgrading my water cannons than the these honeycombs. another honeycomb here and I really don't have any reason to destroy anything so oh no 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 This is bad, I lose. Oh well. I have never, I should have, okay. Shoot, I only got 264 gems. I don't, know, I don't even think that's gonna be enough for the permanent, what, damage increase is what it is? Yeah, by rocks, okay. Yeah, don't have enough for that. Okay, that was worth trying. But it does have 
problems. Oh, and it crashed three times. Just reading the manual. Okay. Can I write a review? Now that I've played it some, okay, there we go. This game has a great premise and fun cartoony graphics and could be really fun if three times that's it says the Helldivers player. No, this was just just reading the manual, not even playing the game. Like the game opens up, it opens immediately to here's the manual of how to play. It crashed three times while I was trying to read that manual. <laughs> I can't remember whether I got this for free or not. Crashed three times, just reading the manual. Yeah. Oh, speaking of no music outside the levels, I have my own music I could be playing. It's a fun game. It's a cute game. It's got a, it's a great premise. I would love... Yeah, I would enjoy it a lot better. I, I would enjoy continuing to play it if these things weren't issues. Um, oops, wrong button. Eh, yeah, semicolon. Hold on, let me copy this so that I don't lose it in case I come back. Okay, so where's my purchase history? No. Where do I view my purchase history? Oh, there it is. Did I... Crop and stop I purchased, but not crop aisle. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Crop and stop? Oh, so it's the same thing? Crop and stop. Okay, so there's not a category for it. So I did buy it, okay. So account details, purchase history, crop and stop. How much was it? 
There we go. Yes, I would recommend it. Even though it's poorly built, I would recommend it. And you know what? I only got three sprinklers, maybe four. Four, we'll call it four. call it tools, powers and tools. Okay, that's going to be it. That's going to be my review. At least five to eight hours of gameplay like you could. Um, I was only able to manage dealing with it for one. Anyway. So let's look at the game that's coming up free on Thursday. Gamer Games. Because I want to go outside. It's warm. I want to be outside. Fallout New Vegas for sale on Epic at uh, for two dollars and fifty cents in case you don't have New Vegas uh, and in case you've never heard of G2A so coming up on Thursday is Sunless Skies Sovereign Edition it's Sail the Stars, Betray Your Queen Murderous Sun, Sunless Skies is a gothic horror roleplay game with a focus on exploration and exquisite storytelling so it's a 2.5D it looks like It's, uh, I'm confused about what gameplay looks like. I don't need to know the aspects of the story. Show me what gameplay. Okay, so it's a top-down flying train driver thing with text-based RPG type things. Not text-based, but like visual novel RPG type things. Apparently you can upload, upgrade your flying train. But the actual gameplay of it looks like you're flying around a flying train uh, looking down on it. I don't have high hopes for this. Not excited. But it's there. It's what we're going to try. Murder the sun. No! 
The sun gives life to the entire solar system, aka our planet. The sun drives all life. So yeah, we'd be screwed without the sun. Uh, what are you dinging about, tablet? A Google Photos memory. Anyway. Um, so that's what we're going to do. And... <laughs> <laughs> I think I like being alive, Errant Knight. Um, and this is my opinion. Um, I'm going to get into a mildly sensitive topic here. Um, this is my opinion. I am not a psychologist. I don't have firsthand experience with this, but I have the belief that people that want to die, like seriously might want to think about what that desire actually is because there's something underneath that or behind that because it's less that you don't want to live i think it's more that you don't want to live the life that you're living you want to live differently if things weren't so bad all around you and inside you you wouldn't feel like you wanted to die i think um now i may just be spouting platitudes because i've never you know had to deal with it myself but if your life was completely different, I feel like you wouldn't have that feeling, I think. So it, it may be a slightly more hopeful way to think about it rather than you have so much to live for and be more realistic that, yeah, your, your life really does suck. And if it didn't suck, you would want to live it. Uh, and that I think is maybe a little more empowering because there's the possibility of changing it. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna get off that topic. Uh, so on Thursday, Sunless Skies Sovereign Edition, and I, that doesn't look particularly fun. So we'll probably switch to something else. I spent like six hours putting together a uh, Skyrim load order that runs. Uh, it doesn't exactly make me happy yet. Uh, so I'll probably be playing like that more later in the week, but for now, it, uh, I can play the game. So we'll see whether I continue on with that or not, or if I switch over to like Dragon Age 2. That sounds fun. I might just go ahead and switch over to Dragon Age 2 after downloading, you know, hundreds of gigabytes uh, worth of Fallout 4 mods, but what are you going to do? Anyway. Thanks for hanging out, Errant Knight, and for stopping by really quickly, Rubinsky. I appreciate it. Uh, Errant Knight, good luck with the new job at the old company tomorrow. Wish me luck with the new job. Um, sleep well. I know you're kind of anxious about starting the job, but sleep well. Rest well. I hope um, you're, you know, well-rested and bright-eyed and bushy-tailed tomorrow when you get started. Um, so stay safe, stay hydrated, uh, and I will see you on Thursday, same time.